The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. See choir 
word made flesh, you have come into our midst as light and wisdom, desiring to be known to us in our lives and to be found in the world around us. Open our eyes and our ears and our hearts to recognize you where you dwell in our midst. Challenging, heartening, lighting the way to truth, peace, justice. Amen. Welcome, my sisters and brothers, friends, visitors. Welcome to Pilgrim Congregational Church's Christmas Eve service. If you're new, or perhaps just visiting with us for the first time, a special welcome to you. Pilgrim Congregational Church is a safe and open place where we gather together to worship God and to share the love of Jesus Christ and to put our faith into action. Thanks for being here. days a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Cornarius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. Oh. 
While there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Light 
and life our Savior brings, risen with radiant healing wings, mildly laying glory by, born that we no more may die, born to raise us all from earth, born to give us second When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known what had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. A light had shined in the darkness, and the darkness had not overcome it. Now, my sisters and brothers, I invite you to gather your candles, light your candle at home as we sing together Silent Night.
and now receive this Christmas blessing. Be not afraid. Receive again the good news of great joy. To us, to the world, has been born a Savior. sisters and brothers, receive this benediction. Go forth in peace, rejoice in hope, and live in love. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.